everybody, this is Dad Pat Parat Parat. I hate my speech in Parliament. I hate it. Um, Parat, you can read it in the title. Son over daughter. Wife teaches him a good lesson. Let's go. By Doorman. Da man. Door. Another name I can't pronounce. <laughs> Larry, you're not going to believe it. Our son is going to be a star athlete. Wow, it went that him. well? Oh, well, he only got the final buzzer beater. Basically won the whole game. Aww. Dad, you're embarrassing me. <laughs> hey, Dad, can you help me with my homework? Uh, no, I'm sorry, sweetie. I'm kind of busy with your brother here. Why don't you ask Mom? But I want you to help me. Aubrey, not right now, okay? We're talking about how well your brother did. <laughs> Honestly, you, you should see him out there. He's just amazing. That is so great. Good job, Kevin. Well, I've got the report card, so everybody Ooh. gather around. Okay. All right, we've got Kevin. Straight A's. Oh, good job. All right, I'm very proud of you. <laughs> you know what? Just for this. I'm going to take you out to ice cream. Hmm? Yes. Good job. Get ready. Come on. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Yep. Okay, now we have Aubrey's. C's and D's. And you're failing. Aubrey, I'm totally disappointed in you. What? You give a Your shit. Your brother's getting straight A's. Why can't you work hard like he does? Brian, don't compare them. No, 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 no. You need yeah. to learn to do better. No, 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 no. You don't compare kids with other, your kids. No, 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 no. That's not the right parent thing to do. Every, every kid is different in their own way. If they need help, you help them. You don't compare about how well the other kid is doing. That's bullshit, and that's rude, and that's not no parent. You know what? Go to your room. No ice cream for you. And while you're up there, I want you to think about how you could be more like your brother. Why would you want to be like more like your brother? She's her own person, you jackass. Jesus Christ. I don't get it. Kevin is a superstar. He's getting straight A's. He's a champion athlete. And Aubrey... I just don't understand. Could you won't help well, her. Do you think she might be missing something? What could she be missing? I don't know. Your love? Maybe her dad. You see, every day after school, you spend time with Kevin playing basketball. But how much time do you spend playing any sports with Aubrey? If you practiced with her as much as you practiced with Kevin, don't you think she'd be a champion athlete too? And each day you spend over an hour helping Kevin with his homework. But when Aubrey needs help, you hardly make time for her. If you helped her study as much as you helped Kevin, don't you think she'd get better grades too? So you see, if you had paid as much attention to Aubrey as you do Kevin, Maybe she'd be a superstar, too. Wow. I did not realize that I've been spending so much more time with Kevin and neglecting Aubrey. I feel terrible. I'm such a bad father. Oh, you're not a bad father. I'm sure you'll make it up to her. You're right. I'm gonna be the dad she's been missing. Good. Should have been like that before. Hey. Can we talk a minute? Dad, I'm sorry about the grades. I promise I'll do better. No, it's not your fault, okay? There's something you've been missing. Missing? What have I been missing? You've been missing your dad. 
I'm sorry I've not been giving you more attention. And please forgive me. Dad, of course I forgive you. All right, so how about this? Why don't we all go get ice cream? When we get home, I'll help you with this math homework. I'd really love that, Dad. Hey, Darman fam. I hope you love that massive... <sighs> Parents... Treat your kids as an equal. I personally know how it feels. So, trust me when I say it to you. Make sure you don't play favorites with your kids. Treat them all as an equal. You spend an hour helping your one kid with homework. Spending the next hour helping your other kid with their homework. And so on. You go to Kid A game, then the next game you go to Kid B's game, stuff like that. And while they are on the same time, well, pit flop <laughs> or go half and half. Always treat your kids equal. Never play favorites because playing favorites will bring hurt to the other kid who you're not favoring. I'm not saying you are, um, but in a lot of times you probably ain't gonna even realize you're doing it. So always. Find a way to reevaluate yourself on a weekly basis if you have more than one kid. If you have only have one kid, then obviously <laughs> this one doesn't really matter. touch you in a way. But if you have more than one kid, always find time to spend an equal amount of time for each every single one of them. And have your wife or girlfriend or whatever. Boyfriend, husband. Allow them to be your judge. Judge of the heart. Allow them to let you know if you're starting to pull one way or the other. Keep the keep, let them be able to keep you on your game on being equal to everyone. Tell your spouse, your significant other, saying, "Hey, if you feel like I am playing of paying favorites to, for to one kid and then the and then not paying too much attention to the other ones, please let me know like so I can fix it." That's being a good dad or good mom. Just don't favor. Trust me when I say it as a person who went through it growing up. It monkey around with the kid who you don't play favorite to. Yet. And then, yeah. But anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next video. And as always, you are loved.